Hello there again, good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, Spanish bit. Just an update on uh, my um, HHO generator. Um, Formed a little problem actually. The gaskets I use doesn't seem to retain the water too well, and they um, seem to seep through. And as you can see here, like the dry section, the wet section, it's um, it seeps through the gasket, and it's uh, obviously. Um, short circuit in the the, uh, the plates as well so um, I'm going to take these gaskets out of my machine and I'm going to replace them with, uh, with with some of these these I bought at the same time as the other gasket this is a different type of rubber it's the same neoprene level than the rubber still but it's um, it's not like a, a, a squashable as much as the other one is it's about three mil, two, two and a half, three mil thick um, should be ideal really. Now these are off cut started from another manufacturer that makes these, these products anyway. So anyway yeah, so I'm going to stick these in the machine, take the other ones out, uh, refill it with some fresh electrolyte and see what happens after that. Okay, I've taken the plates out as you can see here. This is the negative side plate which is facing the, onto the negative or the uh, cathode input of the, of the power and you'll notice on the back this is the oxygen side it uh, discolors this is quite naturally normal for this sort of setup uh, so that's again the hydrogen side with the hydrogen produced inside it but it become bipolar and you can see on the other side of that again it's where the oxygen is produced ox ox oxidizes the metal hydrogen side which should be negative side these are don't forget the neutral plates, they're not connected to any 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 wires, so they do become bipolar in the unit. Negative, positive side, again you can see where the discoloration has gone. Same again. And same again. On the last plate, again you can see it's discolored on the positive input of the, of the power. So I'm going to clean these up a little bit, put the new gaskets on. Now, the way I'm going to do these gaskets, uh, I'm going to lose some space on my plates. I'm going to cut the square out and I'm going to place it at a diagonal position like that. So I'm going to lose a lot of plate space, unfortunately. That means I can put, only put less amps for it now. But these will be better quality. I'm glad I bought these at the time. I bought these £1.50 for a, 10 of them. So they're off cuts. Give it a go. Um, if I get time to do it tonight, I'll do it tomorrow. And then I'll uh, switch it on, see what happens with it. Okay, I've um, changed the uh, gaskets for the other ones I said about, they're a bit thicker. And um, got it all wired back up again, it's taken me a while. It's producing, uh, it's all about the, the quality here, but I've got a cheap camera at the moment, I've got to get another one. Uh, that's the um, anode side, oxygen. And the cathode side. Anyway, um, I'm, I've calculated on the, on the size of the plates now that I'm being used. Is I've put a maximum of 12 and a half amps through this thing now, not 24 amps as before. So uh, it is currently running at uh, two and a half amps at the moment, which is nothing really. Producing some gas, uh, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to do another. I'm going to test this now. I'm going to do another test now on the. Uh, how long per minute it takes. I'll just set up now. Okay, let's put my pipe in there. Start up the watch. Currently 14 seconds. Slowly filling, filling up. Again, I apologise about the quality of the picture here. I'll come back to that in a minute. Anyway, <coughs> um, so this space I'm getting now from my uh, new gaskets is a bit thicker. I think I'm actually getting a bit better production. Um, it works out like the same production as before. Uh, maybe because I'm getting the plates extra extra width space to make the hydrogen this time rather than a bit thinner. It probably was a bit dry on the plates at the time. But the O2 side seems to be really bubbling at this time. Didn't do that before. So we're about uh, a quarter at the moment. Got a minute, quarter of a 500 milliliter bottle. Still bubbling away, it's nice at the moment. The 
Okay, it's been uh, two minutes and 40 seconds, and it's now just filled up the um, 500 milliliter bottle. So that's production limit at uh, two and a half amps. I'm going to get a battery this week, car battery, to run this off, so give it a better idea of what it can do, really. So, uh, yeah. Okay, I've rebuilt the um, uh, hydrogen generator again with the spare bit of rubber I had, better quality rubber than these before, and it's nice and watertight, it hasn't been uh, seeping through like the other stuff did. And um, I've also done a little experiment as well with putting some power to the middle plate, and the amps went from 2.5 amps to um, uh, 7.5 amps. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it apart again, rebuild it. I've got some more rubber here. Loads of rubber. And this is quality stuff. It's about 3mm thick. Um, and I'm going to add in two extra plates. And I'm going to make my um, hydrogen cell with nine plates. And there'll be a positive in the middle plate, negative on two outside plates, and three neutrals in the middle. So that should give me about what a 12 volt battery divided by four for so the neutral plates in there. That'll give me about three volts per plate. Um, I might even add a voltage regulator uh, for a bit below 12 volts, so I can get two volts per plate. But I'll look at that later on. So yeah, I'll take it all apart again, and uh, yeah, it still produces the same amount of gas as it is as before. But I think the five plates I've got they're quite big. So I think they can take quite a few amps for these plates. Back to the drawing board again. Okay, I'm just drawing out my uh, templates for my new gaskets. I'm doing a new idea. So I think these holes are a bit, bit too big as well. So what I'm going to do, this is the bottom where the water comes in through. This I'm going to leave on the gasket attached to it. And a little tiny gap in the middle and a smaller hole in the middle there. So this should uh, help me uh, reduce the um, voltage drop causing too much heat. Top one similar. These curves going going up into the small hole on the same on the other side. Might give that a try. If it fails, it doesn't look any good, I'll just cut them out and put it in as normal. So I'm gonna give that a go. Okay, I've done my diff new new gasket. I've cut it a bit different. There's my holes, there's the bottom Okay, so it covers that hole up a bit, makes it a bit smaller. Obviously, that'll be sandwiched between the two plates, and there's the top. A bit of a smaller gap. These little curves will bring the bubbles around up into the outer hole. Uh, you never know. Experiment with it. Say it works. If it doesn't work, I'll just cut these bits off. Not a problem. Just worth a try.